Look what I found. This is pretty cool. Rick Boslin, scientist in the house. Okay, tell me, what are we looking at here? So that's a cast. Uh, a lot of times when we study, that's actually from the Children's Museum. That's oh. a cast of a T-Rex tooth of Stan, the most famous... A tooth? A tooth. One tooth of a T-Rex. And a, so probably the Look most copied T-Rex in the world, Stan, from the... Uh, and we have one that's of the Children's Museum. That's incredible. Well, I tell you what, Rick, before we kind of dive sure. deep, we have a little something to see on tape, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, okay. let's take a look. <laughs> So we're at the road cut here in Brookville, Indiana, close to Brookville Lake, and the highway department has made the digging easy for us because of this road cut. All these students are looking in Ordovician age period rock to find these fossils. And here's some of my young uh, paleontologists right here. What, what have you found right here? Oh, check this out. You have brachiopods. Those very same brachiopods are in the Smithsonian Museum. And what did you get there, Graham? Whoa, look at this horned coral he's got. That's a horned coral. And just like we talked about earlier, the hard parts are preserved, but not the soft parts. You guys found any fossils yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get back to fossil collecting here in Brookville, Indiana. Five times older than dinosaurs. Okay, so we've been here for a while, and these kids have some treasures. Ordovician, uh, what'd you find there? What's that? Um, I found like um, a triple fossil. It's called. Um, they are all brachiopods. And those are brachiopods. And Riley, what did you find? Um, I found, I found pyrite, and this with a big one in it. Look at that beauty right there. That is a giant brachiopod. And let's see your pyrite. Another name for pyrite is uh, fool's gold. And Peyton, here you go, Riley. Oh, what is that right there? It's a giant horn coral. Giant horn coral. And, and Quentin, you found a horn coral and you busted it open. Can you see this? Check this out. You can see the hard internal parts of that. So cool, Quentin. And Peyton, what did you find? I found a mop. He found and he lost a modern gastropod. Okay, so that is a gastropod, which is actually modern. And I found something, well, I don't know if you can see this. This is part, let me get a field wash right here. There we go. And a field wash, that is an Isotelus gigas trilobite. I've never found uh, one like this. Gigas means giant. This is a giant trilobite, nine inches long, that roamed the ocean floor millions of years ago. Check that out, guys. So we're going to end. We're going to end our day at Brookville. We've had a lot of fun. Found a lot of fossils and uh, some really good memories. And this is a beautiful place here in Indiana for you to come back in time to search for fossils. How neat is that? Wow! I bet the kids I, loved it. They do. Oh, <laughs> it's a long drive. Yeah. So anybody can just go there and start. Yeah, for I mean, you got to make sure you don't park on the road, right, and, and right. we don't dig. We just do surface collecting. Okay. Yeah. You know, so, okay. but, uh, but it's back in time. I mean, this part, uh, you and I can't really understand how old these things are. Mm -hmm. This trilobite piece is 450 million years old. Now. We can't even think how old that is. I mean, you really can't. But yeah. to think that these things are still here, they are preserved evidence of past life. To me, it's amazing. amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. That, I mean, how do, you, how do you know it's 450 yeah. million years? I mean, people yeah. say, oh, yeah, how do you know? Well, for over 100 years, geologists around the world have studied different layers. And, and the kids, we draw these pictures. New stuff's on top. The deeper you go, stratigraphy, yeah. the older. And so this particular layer, Ordovician fossils, is still is actually found in Wales, England, and so through carbon dating and through layers, we have mapped out the different layers around the world. And, but it's still even hard to explain because this particular layer was when Indiana was close to the equator and was covered by a shallow ocean. We know that because these brachiopods, crinoids, and gastropods only can live in a hundred feet or less of water. But then this is an Indiana fossil that's only 250 million years old, the time of the Carboniferous. Oh, now wow. that yeah. was a find. That's Look from southern that. Indiana. That is just amazing uh, to see that. Now, That's incredible. It's, what's ever, it, the fossil is gone. It's petrified. But this is a fossil that's 10,000 years old. Ooh, I don't this know. is actually... You should touch it. That's actually fur of a woolly mammoth from Siberia. Oh, wow, that's but, incredible. But as you see, most of these fossils are the remains. Uh, uh, Randy, this one's for you. Yeah. Um, these are older than me, Amber. I, yeah, well. that, <laughs> can you guess what that is? Uh, no. Yeah. yeah well, Rick, thank is. you so much. <laughs>